Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to be talking about the view manipulator. If your view manipulator is currently off, you can turn it on using the checkbox next to the icon for the view manipulator, or going to View, Show View Manipulator. The default location for the view manipulator is in the upper right hand corner of the display window. However, you can click any non-control area and drag it to any other location in the display window. This location will be saved and it will be there when you open subsequent sessions of Pointwise. The flat arrows allow panning in the chosen direction. You can move the model left, right, up, or down. To return the model to its home position, click the home button. I can rotate the model using the curved arrows clockwise and counterclockwise. Notice the cube moves also. For other rotations, I can click and drag the cube. If I want to align my view with a Cartesian face, I can simply click the face. This is the same as using a view orientation here on the toolbar, except using the cube, it will not zoom out. If I want to align my view with a different Cartesian face, I can hover over the sides. To rotate the cube 180 degrees, simply click the face. Clicking the home button returns to the home view. The gear button contains options for the view manipulator. You can choose to hide the view manipulator. You can also choose to change the color of the buttons. Finally, you can choose to auto-hide. This means the buttons will only appear when you hover over the view manipulator. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.